Greetings painters! Today we will be doing a night landscape tutorial for beginners in acrylics. All of the materials used in this video are in the description, but let's take a look at some colors before we start painting. The acrylic paints that we're going to use today in this video are Apple Barrel Black, Admiral Blue, Pewter Gray, Bright Magenta, and White. Since we are doing a nighttime landscape today, we will be working with a solid black paint at the top of our canvas, then adding some of the Admiral Blue closer to the middle with the black. Continuing to use the same brush, adding some bright magenta to the blue and black mixture on your brush creates a muted purple haze closer to the horizon. If you are looking for an even brighter look, add more magenta or a bit of the pewter gray or even white. Now that we have our first layer finished, we can let this dry and then move on to the next layer. Dry paint doesn't leave as much of a glare on the canvas, especially in a video, but we're going to have to add another layer of paint to this in order to get the vibrancy that we want in our colors. So what we're doing next is adding another layer of paint to reduce the appearance of brush marks and fill in any white space that might be on the canvas. Colors can also be changed if you aren't happy with how they turned out in the first layer, but here I'm using the same colors. The lights that I'm using leave quite a glare at the top of the canvas, but after the paint dries we'll be able to see the sky colors much better and begin the stars in the sky as well as the snow and trees below. Now that our next layer is almost completely dry, we can start on the stars, which is the most fun part of any space drawing. Now I have this piece of paper here <clears throat> that we're going to use to cover the lower half, or this lower portion here of the canvas which will allow us to keep any stars from flecking onto the little snow that we're going to paint on later. For doing the stars, all we need is a toothbrush. You can use any sort of brush that you like to flick white paint onto the canvas. I find that a toothbrush just allows for more tiny random specks. To add stars, dip the brush into either white paint or a mixture of white paint and some water. I'm also using a dotting tool to manually add larger stars. To add a shimmering star, as I'm doing here, use a dot of wet white paint and drag a small brush in different directions on the paint to create this effect. The rest of the painting is really up to imagination. Using just black paint, you can create silhouettes of various trees, here I'm making evergreen trees with a fan brush, and even add snow or water. I chose to add snow, using again straight black for the shadows, and then mixing the magenta with a bit of black and white until I got a good light color for snow highlights. Thank you for stopping by today. I hope that this video was both useful and entertaining. All of my materials are listed in the description below, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.